we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 hello again. Thank you for being here. It's me, Elle, to do a reading for you, Aquarius. Uh, let's get into it, you know. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Now, I don't know what the reading is going to be about. We're just going to pull some cards and see what's going on here. Uh, let's see what's happening for the Aquarius. Some of you could be seeing, um, you know, numbers like 717, 818, 313, uh, you know, 212. You know, initially you were seeing triple numbers like 333, you know, 444. You could see those numbers here and there, but you're seeing, you know, like 818, 919, you know, 717. It's time for you to activate. When you were seeing the triple numbers, it was to awaken you and now you're you should be or you are being activated that could be for somebody you know all right let's see what's going on oh there we are so got the deck upside down so six of cups yeah six of cups showing up aquarius so nostalgic you know thinking about the past at this time we're still in mercury retrograde we're out of it when the shadow fades now um just coming out of it so it's still feeling the effects of thinking backwards wanting to connect backwards some of you are really just trying to figure out who you are where you come from um ancestry history with the six of cups here you could be, you know, getting an ancestry report or, you know, maybe even discovering things about your DNA uh, or at least trying to do research. You could also be asking about maybe family history. You want to engage with family person from your past, whether it be family, romantic partner, I don't know. Um, but there's an, an inability for you guys to come to some type of agreement or agree to disagree or any type of resolve because somebody is extremely emotionally underdeveloped. I was going to say emotionally um, immature, but some, the spirit says emotionally underdeveloped. So you could be dealing with somebody who's emotionally underdeveloped and it's just like, you can't reason with this person. You can't rationalize. It's like the Terminator, literally. It's like this person is programmed almost to be against you or be contrary or an adversary to wisdom, to maturity, to growth. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Somebody wants to lash out at you or um, maybe you lashed out at someone it was raw emotion it was passionate it could have been about past events it could have been about something in the past yeah it, 
eight of wands can't make it up at the bottom of the deck. It's like some of you want to communicate with a lot of people or, um, th so this would be like a group conversation is what I'm hearing of the more than one party, uh, um, a parent, a more than one party, uh, in attendance, but this is a, di a direct, I wish Mercury just come on and go retrograde. Jesus. Um, this is, so this is a conversation you might want to have with a group of people, you know, or a lot of people present because y you want to declare something to maybe your intentions or, or what was not intentional. I don't know. It's, you could have even done something or you're trying to do it. It could be online or over the airwaves. I don't know. I'm getting airwaves. I don't know. So I don't know. Um, it's like you want to say something to a whole lot of people and you feel like once you get it off your chest or once you get it off your chest, you know, things can move forward. The energy can flow freely. Obstacles being removed. Oh, it's like the elephant in the room. Maybe you're dealing with so many different people, friends, family, I don't know. Um, and the, the big old elephant is in the room. This is energy of dissemination. So it's like trying to end you know, trying to take everything that you've been through, everything that you've learned with this person or this group of people and trying to end the disagreement, the argument. But there's still somebody who is heavily emotionally underdeveloped. So it always turns into an argument. Uh, Spirit says they can't contend with you with the truth. So, oh, okay. All right, Aquarius. So somebody... They can't do battle, verbal battle with you because you're coming with the truth. I know I'm getting like the saying, I always say it in my life. You know, if I start telling the truth about all these people who are lying on me, whoo, people start running for the hills. So it's like you, you got the truth with you. And that's why these people can't contend with you. They don't want to contend with you. It's better to talk about you rather than to you. Ooh. Okay, what, what is going on here with the Six of Cups, Spirit, God, Angels? What do we want to tell a clear? You're getting some expressed knowledge via your dreams. They said dream scope. So I don't know if you're looking into where they're showing you, you know, in your dream space, what's going to happen or what's happening or the energy surrounding you, around you right now. Okay, um, let's see. What else is going on here? Declutter your emotions. So it's definitely that you want to say something to somebody. Aquarius, my ears are like um, getting hot. I don't know, like somebody's getting mad or hot headed or, or I don't know. Let's see. Seven of cups, more, six to seven of cups. Uh, okay, so they said people talk in circles. So I don't know if somebody's trying to talk in circles, trying to recant, backtrack with the seven of cups here. You got a lot of Scorpio energy. So this is a deep dive into an emotional situation, an emotional conversation. Um, this has, I heard malice. Ooh, so somebody has been terrible to you. They have been calculated in their endeavors. Uh, it has been contrary to you succeeding. So that, maybe that's how you feel about a particular person, place, or thing. Um, with the Seven of Cups, it's like, a illusion uh, or somebody is in an illusion or somebody wants to paint a picture for you or illusion illusionary or I, I don't know this is somebody also feeling like um, they're losing control too so maybe somebody feels like they're losing control again they can't contend with you they can't argue with you they can't beat you because you're coming with the truth right um, the true thing maybe they have the lie Maybe they are the mimic of you. Maybe they are, you know, uh, contrary to you. Maybe they are direct are duplication. So maybe somebody's trying to copy you, but they, they can't come with it because, again, they can't contend with you. Something about them being the lie and you being the truth or you have the truth and they is the lie. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments who the truth and who the lie. <laughs> Queen of Cups showing up. So 
more Scorpio energy, fixed water, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, so this is somebody that, I don't know, I feel like maybe they're like in the dark side, on the dark side of Scorpio, you know? Um, or maybe you're just digging deep. So think of, you know, we we'll think of water, fixed water with the Queen of Cups. And um, so, so think of you got crystal clear water, the, the islands of um, the Maldives, Bora Bora. And then you've got like the swamps of Louisiana, backwood, that deep, stagnant, dark water. So it's like, um, wow. So we just, we just talk about two things that are polar opposite, the clear waters of, you know, the islands and then the deep stagnant water of, of you know, a pond or, um, um, you know, like a creek or, uh, you know, backwood. So you got somebody that is completely, y'all are not just, y'all are not the same. The marrying of the energy, the commingling is what I heard like um, a few readings back. There's like no commingling of the energy. So maybe like it's a separation. It is a separation. You had to separate from someone. Or you are separating from someone. You come out of the illusion of, this could have anything to do with friend, family, loved ones, lovers, I don't know, anybody, but you come out of the illusion that maybe somebody cares for you or that they could ever care for you on the level that maybe you care for them because it's deep, dark, stagnant energy, water with them, and it's crystal clear, Bora Bora, Maldives type of, um, the Maldives type of water with you. Um, you've seen something crystal clear too. Maybe they had you in that deep, dark, murky water. They had you questioning yourself, feeling like you're losing control. Um, some of you, uh, what is the seven of cups here? And then we'll go to the queen of cups, the knight of wands. So this is somebody who did like, um, cast an illusion for you with the, oh, so they play both sides with you in terms of doing something adverse to you or bad to you. And then they would do something good. And so it kept you confused with the seven of cups. This could be friends, family, loved ones, lover. Somebody was also, you know, off and on, hot and cold, right? Like, oh, I, I think they do like me. And then next week they're slapping you in the face. Not literally, I hope not, but doing something that you would feel like a slap to your face. And it was like, well, last week it was all good. So we've got somebody who was in an energy of, you know, the knights are on conquest. They're getting what they want. Um, and then they're leaving, they're getting, they're on duty. They're, they're under the uh, leadership or the guidance of the Hierophant. Whatever that inner calling, whatever that inner spirituality or lack thereof that that person has, that's what they're, that's what they're on. So you can have a Knight of Cups, you can have a Knight of Wands. Any of these Knights can be in low vibrational energy, right? Um, so you got to really figure out with the Hierophant, is there any religion or spirituality or higher voice or calling that they um, are guided by? And do know that all guidance is not from above. It's not positivity and white light and, you know, sprinkles of fairy dust. So I don't know, this is somebody that uh, they kept you confused about the relationship because they would just bounce back and forth. You know, when, um, in confusion, you won't make a decision because you're confused, right? So somebody uh, back to calculation, like somebody was calculated and how they dealt with you and what they did with you and what they said with, to you. I don't know if you needed to read into, or you were always trying to read out of what they were saying. You was like trying to decipher, decode, or when you find yourself needing to do, having to do something like that, um, th that's, that's probably just not the, the best situation to be in, whether it's friends, family, or, or whatever, you know, when you're finding yourself always confused, the queen of cups, you may have, um, so somebody kept you in confusion, uh, emotional confusion, cause you got nothing but cups there and then you got the, the wand. So what they did was their actions were flip flop. And then emotionally it confused you. The queen of cups, um, you could have been an innocent bystander, 
not even the bystander, you were the target, you were the innocent party. Um, the Queen of Cups, uh, somebody knew or they know that you have something to give to the world. This could even be like spiritual warfare. This could even be, you know, um, people being used by entity, by, you know, demonic entity. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. You know, um, it could be, we'll, we'll see, we'll keep going. Um, the Queen of Cups also, uh, it's like somebody knew something about you or they know that you have a gift or you had something to give to the world. The Six of Cups, um, clarity is what I heard. I don't know. So somebody knew something about you and it was like their sole purpose, their life purpose to keep you confused, to keep you disillusioned, to keep you wondering about, to keep you wondering about, wow, to keep you, Seven of Cups says, um, procrastination, never doing anything, never accomplishing, a lot of wishful thinking, taking no action, indulging, engaging, losing control. Maybe this is what someone was trying to get you to do, or this is what you were doing at some period in your life. I don't know, with the Queen of Cups here, I feel like you've come out of the fog because the Queen of Cups says, I am practicing emotional stability. Therefore, the Queen of Cups may come off aloof and not involved and maybe self-centered, but she's none of that. She is a practicing emotional stability. So think of the words that I'm saying, if I'm practicing emotional stability, then I can't be around things that destabilize me. Hence, person, place, or thing, right? So I'm away from, I'm set apart. You may have cut off or you need to cut off something or somebody or, or all of the above um, so that you can now stabilize your emotions because some people, something, someone destabilizes you altogether. Oh yeah, this could even be like a mother energy. I don't know. Let's just keep going because we got a lot of feminine energy showing up. Um, you may have to cut off somebody to your moves or how you're making moves. Let's see what is going on here for the Aquarius. Page of Cups, wow, and nothing but Cups. Spirit is speaking to you heavily about what you need to be doing, how you need to be doing it. It could even be a child or someone who's childish. So right now you are Queen of Cups and Page of Cups. So you're developing your clairvoyance, okay? Or your clairaudience or your, uh, what's the, uh, the one of them players? You know, you, you're developing um, how you divine or you messages from um, the other side from a spiritual realm, how you get your messages in. Um, so you're just practicing, you know, well, you're developing your clairvoyance right now. You can be psychic, you know, or you psychic nudges. You just know stuff or, and it could be downloads also with the page of cups. Um, you're getting good news. You're going to get some good news about business matters, whatever business you're in. It doesn't mean that you have your own business could be, but whatever. So a business matter would be, okay, I sent off that application to receive that loan, house loan, whatever type of loan. I'm going to get good news about that business matter. So you're getting good news about business matters here with the page of cups. Someone may say, I'm sorry, or I love you, or someone wants to start over with you. You could be, okay, so let's talk about it. They want to go there. So with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, um, so the Queen of Cups talks about traditional beauty. So traditionally, in terms of a larger scope, generally, you're beautiful or you have a level of pretty or beauty about you. If, if you know, you were in a lineup and someone said, you know, who, who all in this lineup is beautiful. You would be one of the chosen, right? This could even be why you could be targeted, you know, with the page of cups, it talks about beauty and fashion. You know, you could be in the beauty and fashion industry. Are you trying to break into, you could be getting good news about the beauty and fashion industry. If you're in to that, um, the page of cups and the queen of cups definitely spirituality spiritual practice the queen of cups says 
you know, I have something to offer the world and I have a layered personality. So you may be doing different things every, so you, you're not a one trick pony because there's layers to you. Think of Scorpio in deep, dark, stagnant waters and Scorpio could be crystal clear waters also. So Scorpio can be both. So in that stat, in that deep, dark water, you don't know what's under that water. So you got layers to you, right? You could be uncovering some stuff or a universe sphere is trying to help you uncover some stuff from the past with the page of cups. So you're getting like intuitive little nuggets or nudges or um, messages, okay? Um, the queen of cups is set apart. She gives good advice too because she's not attached to the outcome. So that means it, when I tell you what you what I think you should be doing. And I advise you, I don't care if you do it or not. I've given you the advice. You do what you do with it. And that's the queen of cups energy. It's not harsh. It's not any of that. It's like, I, once again, I'm practicing emotional stability. So if I'm attached to the outcome of you doing what I advise you to do, then if you don't do it, then it destabilizes me. So the queen of cups, so the, the, it's like the universe is trying to get you to a place of you might have to set yourself apart from somebody or a lot of somebody's or you already have it could be friends family business partner I don't know it could be all of the above and what you're doing is you're practicing emotional stability without having these people around you you know picking and nudging and um you know kind of poking at you you may be coming off as self-centered selfish self-righteous but it's none of that it's like if i be around y'all you're gonna do something that's gonna push me to another place and i, I can't be there it, it, i heard not be not in my ascension so some of you are ascending you're going higher let's see what this is all about for the aquarius what is going on for the aquarius lots going on for you aquarius definitely what else do you want to tell aquarius um okay wow I want to tell Aquarius the star card. You are the so showing up in your reading. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Whatever you're manifesting, it's a big wish. It's coming in fast for you, Aquarius. Um, you're doing a lot at this time period. Wow, I knew it. With the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, you had to cut off communication from, I don't know. It could be anybody. So the Threes talks about siblings. It talks about... Um, it's, you know, your community. So it's the people that you chose or you choose to be around. Maybe you have to kind of sever ties or separate, says the three of swords. You had to divorce, you know, maybe the idea of you had to um, stop communicating with. It was always miscommunication. It was always misinterpretation and misrepresentation. So it was just always a miss, a misfire, Miss, you know, just, and it turned into back to six of cups. It turned into an argument because you can't level with these people. You can't reason, you can't rationalize with them. You know, it's just, it's no, it's none of that. Um, you can't rationalize with this energy. It's like, as you're on your ascension, you know, you can't keep saying, well, I'm going to just bring all these negative people with me because they family, because they friends. And I remember when they gave me $5 and, but then I remember when they took $500 from me, but you know, they gave me $5, you know, I, you can't keep rationalizing and making concession for, um, and especially these people can't contend with you. So they're not on your level. Could be dealing with a, a Libra. Um, so the star card Aquarius is like, you're about to, again, ascension, higher level, releasing baggage from the past chakras are in alignment or you need to do some chakra work healing work here reiki is what i'm hearing you know i don't i know about it uh, i don't do it you know but uh, i don't practice it so maybe you need to find someone who does um or, or you know here on youtube you find everything on youtube right so um might need to do that with the star card it says releasing baggage from the past and we had the six of cups it also talks about connecting backwards going backwards thinking backwards emotionally what hurt you what was traumatic what was fun what was blissful it's like you're about to receive something Aquarius and it's like the universe is like well set yourself apart from those who caused harm or those who confuse you 
or those who, yeah, they put you in a confusing place or a compromising place or a vulnerable place. Separate yourself from them. The Knight of Swords talks about direction, focus, and um, I heard hell bent. So hell bent on Queen of Wands or maybe getting coming into your life purpose. Um, starting your own business, putting yourself out there, okay? Because you're going to be the face of something or you need to be the face of something, says the star card and the queen of wands. This could be in your career. The, the knight of wands can be like a career move, fast change, in two weeks tops, you know, like some, you know, it comes in quick. It talks about um, tunnel vision. You need to be tunnel vision on queen of wands, um, Again, life purpose, direction, charisma, putting yourself out there, networking, um, putting yourself around the right people. So you need to get out there. You need to present yourself to. So you need to separate from one and present yourself to something else. So it's almost like you're at a crossroads. Um, let's see. Um, what else are we getting from the star card? And something is definitely coming at like lightning speed, a big wish, dream, fulfillment. Some of you are wishing and hoping for like um, friendship, you know, good friends, better friends. And it says, put yourself out there. The queen of wands, you know, the word says you, you want friends, appear friendly. So you know, smile. Um, let's see. Um, what is this? You might be confronted with, okay, confrontation. What is the confrontation about? Oh, it's about what you're doing. A lot of action being taken on your part. Because you got two queens here. So you're doing a lot. The queens are the doers of the tarot. So you're getting a lot done. The queen of wands says you get a lot done in a short amount of time. Head on a swivel. Okay. Yep, I knew it. Okay, so the page of swords came up. So you got some people wanting to be in your business, right? Um, wanting to know about you, inquiring about you, asking about you. Um, you've got people, maybe friends from the past, loved ones from the past wanting to reconcile with you, talk it over. But again, the page of swords talks about um, not wanting to talk to somebody because of the lack of emotional or the intellectual now, intellectual um, maturity is like, I don't know. Some of you feel like this is just going to be a complete waste, a complete waste of time, energy. You've also got like um, divination. I don't know, maybe somebody spying on you via the tarot. Um, you could be the subject of gossip right now. Okay, and it says refrain from gossip, but maybe that's why you have stopped talking to maybe a group of people or one person because you know every time you talk to them, it is gossip, it is salacious, it's scandalous. You've got a lot of people here, also, they want to mention that who are talking about you, looking at you, looking you up, all because you're getting what you want. Wow, whoa getting what you want nine of cups nine of cups four of wands the empress and then the devil oh okay thank you spirit so we read from left from right to left so you, you came out of this devil energy bondage the chain some of you broke the chain you know, whatever the chain was, it could be generational curse. It could be just that again up here, back here, where we we're talking about somebody had you under this fog of maybe not believing in yourself, procrastination, not having enough gumption, not having, you know, just having you in a place of losing control or feeling like you don't have control or, you know, what they were saying to you or emotionally, how they were emotionally manipulating you by way of their actions with the Knight of Wands. Mm. Some of you broke the chain. Definitely. Broke the chain. 
somebody could have been like doing this to you from childhood. Like, you know, you were raised up in an environment that was to keep you down, to, to keep you in a place of not really excelling, no, knowing yourself, learning about you. You didn't get true, um, like cultivation, fostering of your talents, of your gifts. Um, you didn't get, um, or you're not getting the, um, cause some of you could be younger, you know, listening to this. Um, you're not getting the, uh, okay. My ears started right ear start itching. So this is true. Some of you are younger and you listen to this. So you're not getting the guidance, the, um, the covering that you need to, to move forward. Or you didn't get this as you were younger. I, I'm like thrown into the frying pan, you know, um, just thrown into it. Um, den of thieves, raised by wolves, Ugh, just everything that you can think of in the midst of survival. So somebody had you in a place of mentally, emotionally, um, surviving, so if you're surviving something, you're doing just enough or you're getting just enough or it's always, you know, um, thinking of what's around the next corner or the next bend or somebody kept you in a place of fear, lack, um, maybe not wanting to break the chain from. This could even be mom, dad, family kept you in a place of not feeling like you can fly like an eagle, like you can do your own thing. You can be free. You can be independent. You know, um, something kept happening or it wasn't spoken into you or you didn't get the right tutelage or you didn't get the tools to be successful, to be great. Um, it wasn't by way of word verbally spoken to you and then physically shown to you, you know, you didn't get what you needed to excel. Is this reason to go backwards and hate? No, because you got to then have the compassion to say, maybe my parent or parents didn't get what they needed and they just couldn't pass on to me what they didn't have and that they weren't what they weren't looking for to have, you know? So, um, you have to have that compassionate state of mind, but you also have to be aware of the chain that was on you with the devil card. And this could even have been a love partner. Um, this could have been a, like a, a marriage, a long-term marriage, um, needing to break the chain, the empress now. So you're understanding abundance and abundant state of mind and understanding that, you know, it trusting in the universe, trusting in yourself and your gifts and your talent, trusting that it will provide for you. You can provide for yourself. You can be stable. You can create, you are beautiful. You are wonderful. You're beautifully and wonderfully made you're you're you're, you're you, so you're in a place of this could even have been reparenting for some of you or you or the need to reparent the four of wands it's like now you've come to a place of understanding reunion i don't think this is reunion with those people or that person per se but this is more so like reunion with who you are soul level soul contract the four of wands talks about a big contract so maybe you're getting something new or you're getting a gift to where you'll feel um, high esteem of yourself because you accomplished something. It says successful completion of a contract with the four of wands. It also talks about um, if, you, if you're going to say reunion, that means that you used to be there. Now you're coming back or you used to know that person. Now you're coming back. So you used to be that person. You used to be that queen of wands. You used to be that queen of cups. And then you're coming back to that. Or you used to be that empress. And now you're coming back to that. It was always in you. It was always there. And back to what we said up here. Somebody knew. Somebody knew that. They could have gotten birth chart readings on you. I don't know. If someone knew something about you. It's a gift. With the queen of cups, you're, you have something to offer the world. Also developing your clairvoyance. People looked at you or people would say things about how did you know that? How do you know that? How can you know? How do they know? How are they so smart? How are they smart and beautiful? How are they this? You know, so um, it was like a derived plan. But I don't think any one person could be so meticulous and malicious and holding you down. This really reads for me, you know, now we're going to jump into my personal 
opinion about the cards is spiritual warfare. And I will try to clarify that via the cards because I could be wrong in that. But I'm not, everything else is what I'm reading from the cards. Um, so it could have been that spiritually from, a, from the birth, from conception, you, you know, um, in the spirit, you know, in the, in the heavenly realms, they knew that you were going to be great or you're destined for greatness. So this was to hold you down. This was to keep you bound. If, if we, if we're talking about breaking the chain, then that means you were bound to something. Right. And it's funny because it says this is Moloch or Moloch. Um, and he, he accepts child sacrifice. So maybe you were, somebody was trying to give you over since the time you were a small child or, you you've had a tax on your life um maybe since you were a small child i don't know you know um but you're coming into a place of wow empress <clears throat> four of wands nine of cups definitely getting what you want living life on your own terms having it your way the nine of cups says getting what you think you want you know um it talks about luxury the, the Empress talks about luxury too. It talks about the pampered princess. People, people treat you as the princess because you act as such, uh, okay? Um, you could be a singer with the Empress here. You have some type of talent. Um, it is abundant with you or it is a lot of or, or you have a lot of different talents. Um, you're able to create something from nothing says, uh, the empress here um also my, the empress cards for me when i when i'm asking the cards questions is the good karma you know good fortune good karma card so some of you are experiencing better karma right now with the four of wands something could come into you where you want to take loved ones out some of you do have people that you like and they like you so, you know, I don't know, you could receive something. Um, it could be mother, child. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be surrounding the home, contract, home, um, family. You could be coming into understanding your soul family, understanding who you are, you know. Um, just a, a really high vibration. The four of wands is stability it also talks about generational and roots so it's like you you're understanding your roots and where you come from your the stock oh okay what you're made of the nine of cups and this is how you're going to manifest and get what you want the nine of cups um live a life of abundance maybe even luxury um of just uh fruitfulness um fun time eat, drink, be merry. Maybe this is a time with the karma card for you to do just that. Maybe you've had a, a tough life or a tough season, um, long lasting, enduring. And now you're, you're coming to a place with the nine of cups, um, the energy, um, of hoping and wishing for it is disseminating. You're going to come into 10 of cups, actually having it, or the stage will be set to where you can have it for a very long time. Uh, the, Ten of Cups talks about being rewarded for your hard work, your labor. Wow, you're going to come into maybe the bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles, just having more than enough where your money works for you. Um, it says, by my hand. You know, the, the, the King of Pentacles is fruitful, um, abundant, has more than enough. Money is working for him. He's making money in his sleep or she's making money in her sleep and it was by their own hand. So this was somebody who worked for this. This is somebody who systematically, practically, mathematically, rationally did something. Now, if you are too heavenly bound to where you're no earthly good with the King of Pentacles uh, coming up, it's like, well, this might not be for you because this the King of Pentacles gets busy in terms of and they're serious about the craft. They're serious about what they do. They have this going for themselves. They have money or they have a system or they have investments. They have this stuff because they took the time to gain the knowledge. The king of pentacles. And so the pentacles is the last suit. 
So something has come into fruition for you, okay? Or it's coming into fruition for you. It's here. It's all about earthly. So nine of cups with the king of pentacles talks about whatever material you have been wishing and hoping and praying for to come into you. It will. It shall. It is here for you. The fool card. Very, very nice. This is a good time for you to start your own thing, do your own thing, to let something new develop in your life and your existence. So the full card is new trajectory, new life, new development, taking the leap of faith, following a dream, moving away, travel, um, learn the lesson of all the other major arcana, and now you're on to something new. This is beginner's luck, cradled by the universe, says take the next step. So it's like, you you definitely, just like where your past is meeting your future now, you really gonna have to sever some tie or put boundaries up with the three of swords, yeah. Wow, I look over here, I'm like, okay, well what do we wanna tell Aquarius as we close? divorcing you could be divorcing people places things you're letting it go divorce whoa the past some anniversary so the if you have an anniversary then you've been there before okay or if you've been here before or we've done something and we're we're um commemorating it um oh this is like the four of wands you come into knowing who you are um something coming full circle for you soul tribe, uh, understanding on a deep level or on roots. So I heard like claps spirit. So they're clapping in the spiritual realm for you because you're returning to who you are. Wow. Okay. Maybe by Valentine's day, something, um, it's going to happen for you. Lush. Oh, you couldn't have a lot because a lush is someone who drinks a lot, right? You're going to have a lot maybe by Valentine's Day. Or you're going to have a lot of love. Valentine's Day is about love, right? Uh, you're going to have something. You, oh, here, it just said luxury. Back to the Empress and the Nine of Cups. Wow. I'm going to close out with some shells and we're going to... We're going to keep it going. What shit? Sh okay. I couldn't even get what shit? Sh okay. So you got to have a message come to you, Aquarius. Wow, look what came out. Abundance. Yeah. Great body. You're going to have a great body. Maybe you're going to do something with your body or you have a great body of work. Wow, divorce came out again. So if you're not married, then you need to divorce people and put up protective measures, boundaries. Uh, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Um, also, you know, what I was getting earlier today, um, whoa, something's going to all together come into place for you. Like, or you could spontaneously meet a love because that was the, I think that was Carnelia or Carnelian that just fell on the floor. So it could be um, that, you know, it's love comes into you spontaneously, you know, so you just just go with the flow be like water you got a lot of water cups here you know just everybody wants to know when they're going to get love but nobody ever asks when am i going to heal <laughs> i want somebody to pay for a question and ask when am i going to heal you know what, what do i need to do to heal everybody wants a new love though and you broke up two hours ago so i get it um you're gonna have to set boundaries with the tiger's eye here, protective measures. And what I was getting earlier, um, just kind of like meditating on the energy of, um, so, so what, okay, um, you need to confuse your enemy. The enemy doesn't need to know everything to the detail about you. Some of you are divulging, divulging too much information. There is nothing cool or um, you know, mysterious about you. Everything you do, everything you have, everything you buy, everywhere you go is on display. Even when you know there, you know, there's the adversary. 
So it's like the universe says create boundaries, but not too much to the point where you don't know what the enemy is up to. And you know who your enemy is. And it didn't have to be like, like enemy in terms of like, oh, they're coming to your house with guns and knives, but anything like that. But enemy in terms of, you know, who's for you, who's really against you, who really don't want to see you succeed or have, or, you know, ascend, you know, who those people are, right? You know, who those people want to hold you back in some term, that's your enemy. Um, you need to create boundaries. You don't need to completely block them out and they don't need to know everything you do. So spirit was like really placed on my heart. Like some of you just, it's, it's to the point where spirit has to do overtime, working overtime to, to, to protect all that you have or all that you're trying to accomplish or all that you're trying to manifest because before you even get it, you're, you're telling people about it or you're telling people who are contrary to you having it and telling them about it. So spirit wants you to be quiet, you know, um, for some of you, some of you, that's not going to resonate, but for some of you be quiet until it manifests until it is real. And even then you still are kind of quiet about your dealings and what you do is this that you're hiding or you're in hiding or you're, you know, no, but you know, you, you got some major stuff coming to you for some of you and to just, you know, be so maybe flamboyant with it. You know, it's like now we have to work overtime to keep you safe because you know, the adversary knows that you're over here doing this with that person at this time on this date. And it's like, come on, you know, slow it down. Cause you don't know what the enemy is up to. You know, you don't know what your enemy is up to. You don't know what they're, what attacks. And, um, you always want to confuse your enemy. You know, the enemy doesn't need to know the drop on you, you know? I'm at, so this is, so think about it like this. One, you hear spiritual warfare. So cut those two words, spiritual warfare, warfare and warfare. Do you tell the other side, do you, do you post on social media where you guys are going to, where the troops are going to be at what time and the coordinates and the, this and who they're going to be with and the type of guns they're going to have? No, you don't. So this is what spirit is trying to get you to say, like, look, Hold it down. Hold some of this stuff that we're telling you, that we're giving to you. Hold some of this to yourself. Hold it down. Everybody doesn't need to know because everybody's not for you. And it could even be people who you think are for you. So you got to be quiet and you can't bring everybody with you. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you, that you took something from this reading. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you took from this reading. Does any of this resonate for you? Had you... Are you divorcing? Did you have to divorce a group of people or some people who you know that just weren't for you? Do you feel like you've been held down your entire life or you just feel like there was something on you your entire life to, to keep you in a low vibration? Um, talk about it down in the comment section. It's amazing to see that there's some other Aquarius who's going through the same thing, who has gone through the same thing that you are going through, maybe even across the globe. Isn't that amazing? So let's share and let's manifest down in the comment section too. You know, um, let's put some, um, some magic wands down there, you know? Yeah. Let's do some, and some, some, uh, stars. Okay. Cause we're manifesting over here by Valentine's day. Y'all want to be lush and luxury more than enough. Okay. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. If you want to get your own personal reading to talk about past, present, and future for yourself, you can go over to the website and book there. Readings are on sale 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout. Um, also, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time doing a collective reading for you and then answering your questions. And if you are a business-minded individual, you want to be around other business-minded, a uh, like-minded person, then you can join the KTMG a monthly conference call. Keep the Momentum Going monthly conference call. It's been beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, you're going to get spiritual and practical measures of how to either start, 
maintain or grow your business. You're going to grow in so many different ways. So take advantage of that. That's linked below too. And if you're a business owner or you would like to start your own business and you want to get on a discovery call with me, please go Google discovery call because it is not a tarot card reading. It is not a therapy session. It is not any of that. It is a discovery call to see if I can be of assistance to you and um, let's see if I'm a um, good fit for you and you're a good fit for me. Okay. We're just going to discover and by way of a conversation, if I can help you, that's what a discovery call is. It is not a tarot card reading, please. Anyhow, I want to shout out to um, some of the cities who have high viewership, New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, Florida, Min uh, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, um, what came up Minnesota. Okay. Thank you. Um, so anyhow, thank you. And let me know where you are viewing from. And it's always fun to read that. Uh, take care Aquarius, many, many more readings to come. Blessings.